Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have got this green circle that is inscribed in the semicircle as you can see in this figure. And moreover, this line segment is tangent to this circle and its length is nine units. And now we are going to find the area of this green circle. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our very first step. Let's go ahead and label the points. And here I have labeled point A, B, and C. And now let's go ahead and connect points A and C really carefully. And here's our much nicer looking diagram. Now in this next step, we can see that this is the radius of this green circle. Let me go ahead and call lowercase r. Then this distance AB is also going to be the same distance. So I'm going to call this one R as well. Now let's focus on this line segment AD. That is the diameter of this green circle. So this is R and this radius R as well. So this total length is 2R. And also we can see that this AC is the radius of this semicircle as well. So therefore we conclude that this AC length is going to be 2R as well. And now let's focus on this triangle ABC. And since this is a right triangle, so therefore we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem. And here's the Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me go ahead and call this side ab. I'm going to call lowercase a. This vertical side bc I'm going to call side b. And this longest leg ac I'm going to call this side c. And here's our Pythagorean theorem. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. a in our case is r, b is 9, and c is 2r so this is going to become uh, a square is going to become simply r square and b is going to become b square is 9 square equal to 2r square let's go ahead and simplify it this become r square plus 81 equal to 4r square so let's go ahead and subtract r square from both sides so these are gone so we simply ended up 3r square equal to 81 let's go ahead and divide both sides by 3 so that means our r square turns out to be 27 and here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this green circle. And here's the area of a circle formula. Area equals to pi r square. And in our case, our r square is 27. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So area A is going to be pi times r square is 27. So that means area turns out to be 27 pi and if I replace pi by 3.14 then our area is going to be approximately equals to 84.8 so thus the area of this green circle turns out to be 27 pi square units or in terms of decimals it is approximately equal to 84.8 square units thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye